take payments over the phone with just a few simple clicks. Our virtual terminal makes it easy to take payments remotely. Log into your online management system with your username and password. Once logged in, you'll be taken to your online management system homepage. Here, you can find everything you need to take payments over the phone. At the top, you can find different menu items where you can access your account, payments, transaction reports, and more. To take a payment, hover over payments in the top menu and select transaction by card details. This will take you to a payments page where you can enter your customer's details. For phone payments, Moto GBP is pre-selected under Gateway Account. For ease, GBP is also pre-selected in the currency field. Enter the amount needed and the order description. This will help you keep track of the payment in your reporting. Go ahead and enter the card details of your customer. Fill out the details of the order in line item details, including the quantity, description, and the price for each item. There are five line items to start with, but you can add more by clicking Add New Line Item Row. The subtotal is automatically calculated as you enter the price for each item. Make sure to add the tax description and the value it comes to, and this will update the total amount automatically. Just a few more details to fill in and you're ready to take the payment. Add the customer's billing address, which must be the address their card is registered to. Add a shipping address if the order is being delivered to the customer. Or, if you wish to send a receipt via email, enter an email address in the email address column. Otherwise, you can leave this section blank and skip to the next step. As the payment is being made remotely, you can override the security and how it behaves. As a default, the policy is set to fail if the transaction fails to verify the CV2, which is the three digits at the back of the card. You can use the override tick box to override this. Similarly, the AVS policy is set to fail if only part of the address and postcode is given. You can also override this with the use of the override tick box next to it. If you're happy with the security policies, you can submit for processing using the button below. This will take you to a screen that shows if the security has passed. From here, you can process another transaction using the button in the box or view the receipt of the transaction just made. Get access to transaction history with transaction reporting. Navigate to transaction reporting in the top menu and select transaction history. This will take you to a screen with a list of your past transactions. Here, you can see the security status of each transaction made easy by a traffic light system. This way, you'll be able to see which stage the transaction is at and if it failed, at which point it failed. Quickly search for transactions using the magnifying glass in the submenu. Search by any identifier, including name, order number, order description, and more. You can filter the results by date and transaction type too. From this page, you can also easily refund a transaction. Click on the transaction you'd like to refund and you'll be taken to a page with the transaction details. You can find the amount of the transaction under order details and make sure this is correct. Once you are happy with the amount, click submit for processing and the refund is made. It's that simple. To void a transaction, select the item in the transaction history window and click the black X in the submenu and then submit for processing. Quickly repeat a transaction from your transaction history. Select the transaction and click on the green arrow in the submenu. This will take you to a page containing all the details from the last transaction. If the payment details have remained the same, you can enter the new amount and order description. You'll have to obtain and re-enter the CV2 number for security purposes. Fill in the line item details for the new order, ensuring to update the tax description and value, and then click Submit for Processing. If there's a payment you'd like to make later, you can easily schedule a transaction from the same page. Select a transaction you'd like to schedule for later and click on the calendar item in the submenu. A window will pop up with transaction details where you can set the frequency of the transaction and the date you'd like to schedule it for. Add the new amount and a reference for your record and press OK. Print a receipt of a transaction by selecting the item and clicking on the printer item in the submenu. Click print receipt and send it to your printer. Once the printer is selected, click OK. 
You can also export your transaction history to Excel by clicking on the spreadsheet item on the submenu. You'll be prompted to download the file and will be available to access from your device's downloads. You can get a summary of your transactions from the quick navigation menu on the left of your screen. Select Transaction Summary and this will display in the window opposite. Take Payments. We make it easy.